and we are live You're well. uh so um welcome danu to a live chat with um really cool to uh, to have you here so we were just talking like offline about uh how like you know your career is kind of taking off you have your own business and stuff and what people probably don't know is that we go way back uh to the times of like eurocom and like like starting the career in games and yeah it was it was actually like uh, interesting times to say the least so after so many years it's really a pleasure to be talking to you again um welcome how's it going thanks Harvey. thanks man. thanks lord you know it's nice to see you after so long yeah. and uh, <laughs> yeah it was really really a great start like where we had we started together and you know where we are actually right now is right. like, quite the journey right but yeah. by the way i really like you know what you're doing for you know your audience and you know animators you know this is uh, quite inspiring uh, compared to like you know it's it's very uh, what do you call like you know most of the people doesn't do this like you know keeping their subject or skills to themselves you know not really actually like you know sharing you know sharing definitely yeah. can actually build a better community right for sure so that's something i really uh, like you know like your videos your channel you know i really like them and that's one of the reason actually i started CW as well because same thing like when i came from india back then like you know long mm -hmm. back you know so, there was nobody was actually sharing anything not discussing anything not they think that they might or you know you might overtake them or you know their jobs are threatening that, that's like you know nonsense you know so that's you're it. gonna actually the more you share the more you're gonna get stronger but you know people doesn't agree that like you know but yeah, yeah. that's one of the reasons i started caw as well like you know there are so many people wanted to uh, get into vfx and you know make some really cool reels and you know they doesn't know where to start and you know that's so i'm just like basically i'm helping for those guys who are like me that's uh, it. 13 14 years back like you know this is the guy i wanted like to help you know so so that's i really right. wanted to choose those guys and help them you know that's what i'm doing in caw to be honest you know awesome just awesome people, yeah you know understanding exactly. you know, their needs and passion but yeah yeah, yeah. exactly but, but when you when, when you started your youtube channel i'm like okay this is going to be really big and you know it's not yeah. just that right it's you are actually actually inspiring a lot of artists to come Thank in you, because people doesn't have any clue like what is animation what is games what is vfx what is yeah. tv like you know so but Completely. the way you are actually sharing the inputs and knowledge right so that's something really inspire people make people to make some decisions but okay. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Completely, completely. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Because um, this is the thing, like you've been working in VFX for so long now, uh, so much so that you now have like a school that you like teach plenty of animators, plenty of animators got jobs because of you at this point, right? And you yeah. specialize in creature animation. And every so often I see it, I see it on my LinkedIn feed or Twitter feed, like going through like the, the show reels that you guys put together of like students and how things are getting better. And some of the work that you guys are doing, man, is just incredible. Like it's super cool, super high quality. Oh, and uh, the latest, the, the latest one that I saw saw of you lately was um, when you said, um, it's, "I'm really proud to see the work of my company in Leicester Square, in the big scre screens." Right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, that was really cool. Yeah, that was an amazing experience. Actually, we just yeah. started as a studio. Like you know, we're still building the pipeline. We're still not announced in a big way, but we still were working on some projects and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but you know, again, like you know, what we are producing on CAW, uh, you know, thanks for the kind words about you know the workshop. Yeah. Uh, so I just believe in like you know, you just follow the work, you know, you know just yeah. follow the quality. You know, everything comes to you. Like that's what has been saving me here in UK. And the same thing, my students, their works yeah. and their jobs, and you know, the whole CAW just works on the quality. And that's somewhere it. nowhere, you know, these guys from Pure Imagination, I think Asi. As he's a di animation director and technical director, and he are director, I guess. So he actually approached, hey, we have something, you know, uh, cool tiger animation. Do you want to do it? Like, I said, yeah, why not? And I said, like, we have a setup of a new new studio, so we're gonna like you know ship the email to that, and let's start conversation there. And then he was really happy. And then that's how we started. I didn't realize like two weeks down the line, it was actually for Netflix. So they, said, <laughs> like, <"Okay." laughs> they were like just trying to like you know, okay, like you know, this is what we have got from the client. I thought it's gonna be just a commercial and you know it's a zombie tiger and we were like ah, okay this is interesting let me i saw some concept from the you know the thing and then I'm like, okay this is really interesting let, let me try and take it and then i assembled my animators whatever i have uh they're from CW. i think the one guy is from here as well he's in mm -hmm. the meeting uh, abhishek chandra he's also abhishek a part nice. of yeah uh, the team and he's the guy who did the uh, t-rex t t t t t t t t and irex shot in the yeah. last few years one you know where they kind of sort of fight sequence 
So nice. we, I kind of assembled the team together and then like, okay, guys, let's do this. this is something new. And, you know, and it, it actually was a great fun. It was a short, but it was really fun. And we uh, got so many references from the, you know, art director. And then we collected a lot of references. Yeah. And we just like, you know, they were like, what do we do? Like, you just do whatever you do in CAW. That's great. So friends, you know, try to, you know, make sure that you know, we hit the great quality. It's not for client, it's for us. We are doing it for our best. You know, Perfect. so that's something I really want to do, like, you know, inject to my animators from CAW also or from my company as well. Don't do it for client, you know, do it for yourself. It's going to be in your yeah. reel. It's going to be, you know, your shot, like you are showcasing Completely. the world that that's what I am with my skills up to date. So, Completely. you know, uh, you cannot go wrong there and you won't really get tired of like I'm working overtime or, you know, you just love what you're doing. You don't really care time and you just uh, don't wait for limitations. Like, you know, do you think yeah. this is good enough? Like you are like, no, 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 let me push it. So, right. So that sort of inspiration can come from these guys. And, you know, they were like, actually like, you know, surprised me. Like they have never worked in pro production before. And it just all the CAW and the love and passion for the creatures. It yeah. is such a fantastic job. And, you know, Avishek work was in uh, Times Square, in a New York Times Square. And uh, so the other cool. guy work was in Leicester, you know. It was yeah. uh, after two weeks down the line, they're like, oh, the client was really happy. You know, they're from Netflix and promotion. Okay, this is big now. Like, well, what is it going? Where is this, this, this going? And they say like, oh, this for the new movie, like Jack Snatter, you know, they're, they're doing the zombie tiger. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. Now we are like, okay. Guys, we are doing really good job. There is no stress. Like you know, there's no need to like you know match anybody's quality or you know. I know it's in the movie, obviously, but you know, we just do whatever we do. Just follow the Perfect. quality. That's, That's it. That's great. That's and great. Then, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, the client loved it, uh, and they were like, you know, we got like uh, four more billboards coming. Do you want to animate? Oh, amazing! Yeah, why not? You know, they were super impressed with the quality, and they want to give us more, and they wanted to ask us if we are happy to take it. Like, yeah, man, please, like, why yeah. not? You know. And, and see, that, that's the perfect example of something that I actually say in my videos of like, like, uh, like sometimes I'll talk about like whenever you start working, politics and like um, anything else that you actually think of that goes beyond the work, you really doesn't matter. Because as long as you're doing good work and you impress people, like the rest is just noise. And then as soon as you deliver that work and as soon as you deliver to the quality and above, then people would want to work with you even more. And then just work brings more work. And then the next thing you know, you're flying. Exactly, right. exactly. No, exactly like you said, like the politics doesn't really make any sense to us as an animator in regular life. And we really don't need to worry about that easily. But there is nothing we can do, right? So what we can do is we just need to create ourselves with a really, you know, uh, surrounded by a really good team. Just, you know, yeah. talk about, you know, the regular stuff, what inspires you, not really as soon as you go and get a coffee in the morning. And you talk talking about this negative stuff, it's just gonna ruin your day and it doesn't yeah. really help us, you know. So and again, like it doesn't really what you call like, you know, you just burn all your you know fresh neurons in the morning itself, all the negative stuff, and that's you won't really have anything for your creative, like saving, you know, some neurons for creative stuff, right? So that's something I really uh, wanted, like, you know, shut my brain off, you know, like you know, if somebody's talking negative stuff, okay, let me get, get my coffee and go back to my <laughs> desk and you know, let me do something at least till afternoon, all the creative choices, and then afternoon, yeah, we can talk about anything else, you know. So but, but yeah, amazing. definitely. That's what, like, you know, follow the work, follow the quality, just produce whatever you can to, um, and then you see what comes on your plate, you know. It's like a neutral startler, right? Give oh, the best, it. best comes to you. For every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. Exactly. Give your right. best at work, at your work, you know, and the best comes back to you. There is definitely, it'll come yeah. back to you. Yeah, posit positive energy just brings more positive energy. Equally negative energy just brings more negative energy, right? Exactly, so, yeah. hundred percent, a hundred percent. And um, to everybody that and in the comments, uh, in the comment section, how's it going, everybody? Thanks a lot. I can already see people are asking questions, um, which is really cool. Feel free to ask. Um, if you're just joining us, um, Dano is like a VFX like veteran. He's been working VFX for a long time. So if you want to get 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 into VFX or creature animation, then Dano is definitely your guy. Um, and um, Dano, like I would like to know more about like how things started because I know you came from India, right? Uh, way back in the day, and whether the passion for animation started and like you know like what keeps you ticking all this time from the very beginning like because obviously you're a very passionate guy so like what what kind of like started it all 
I think probably uh, I think what we watch cartoons obviously like we had a jungle book back then you know every Sunday it used to come on a TV channel and we had only one TV channel back then and we like early morning Sunday morning we just wait for the breakfast and you know, nine o'clock switch on the TV and watch the jungle Best book times. TV series yeah, exactly oh, like I remember watching <laughs> He Man and Thundercats and He Man yes <laughs> yeah. and I know, like, every Indian guy around like eighties they would know this He Man and uh, exactly, Iron Man yeah. and the Jungle Book was like. They made, yeah. uh, you know, uh, I think that's one of the uh, three of them actually kind of uh, influenced me a lot. And there was like some toothpaste commercials keep coming in between the movies, like, you know, the teeth would do this sort of a thing. Like, where did the teeth get the arms and muscles? And how did that happen? <laughs> you know, the, so that was keep bugging me a lot. And then, but again, like, you know, I fall into the same, you know, sort of, uh, you know, uh, area where, you know, you just need to you know, listen to your parents and you mm-hmm. want to become an engineer. You know, you have to become an engineer because there is no other way because my parents said that I have to do it because they sponsor your, you know, college mm-hmm. and stuff. They can't really say no to them. And, yeah. you know, when you ask your parents, why am I doing this? Like, I don't know. My my friend's son and you know, my friend's daughter is doing. So you are supposed to be doing as well because we are all the same society. So it's yeah. always that society, you know, that kind it's, of. It's a, good, it's a good job. It's a good, stable job, right? Uh, <laughs> exactly. You, know, you need to earn the you know, security and, you know, money keep coming in. But at some point I was like, you know, if this is not really my cup of tea, but again, I have to do something like, you know, I could, I, there was a break uh, between my diploma engineering and actual engineering. Um, bachelor's so i was actually wanted to learn something computers and then i fall into multimedia studio like oh, this is really good like when you see the posters and you go there and they would i didn't learn anything but the photoshop was like wow you can actually combine two three images together this is something interesting but how can i do it in the movie so mm-hmm. that was not enough you know and then i kind of uh, went for flash and you know that those stuff it was too much hectic i'm not really good with drawing obviously so and uh, i didn't get along with that and then i tried like all the dream waiver and other stuff you know all the web designing and stuff it didn't happen and uh, photoshop i tried for like two years and didn't happen so and then the max and maya came in and like, oh okay this is something really cool and as soon as we saw that you know the, the what, what they can do in movies by using max and maya yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Let me go and try now. But again, like, you know, I didn't have a computer back then. So I need to, like, you know, borrow some money from my mom and, uh, you know, say no to my dad engineering, run away from home and, you know, kind of like, you know, six months go away and then, you know, not to be in touch with anybody. So because yeah. he was really upset, my dad, like, you know, what the hell is he doing with his career? Like, you know, he was like, you know, a black sheep in the family sort of a thing. And like, <laughs> you can't really like, you know, okay, I'm like, okay, I trust you, do whatever you would do, but, you know, don't make me like, you know, um, you know, uh, bad in front of others. Like, why are you even about, you know, but anyway, that those are not like regular, you know, influence from the parents, right? Yeah. But yeah. after that, I fall into like, you know, Max and Maya, I was like, this is my world, you know, this is really looking cool. Like, so you, you felt know, comfortable. I, Sure away. That's exactly, yeah. And yeah. it took me almost three years trying everything, right? Right. So yeah. I was really not really happy with that what I was doing in Photoshop and web designing, and that was not really interesting me. And then as soon as I come into the Max and Maya, that's when I'm like, oh, this is really interesting modeling, okay, modeling. And then after some time, like you know, I didn't get into details, but I still want to try everything in modeling, animation, yeah. texturing, lighting, and rendering. So we did a project. I spend most of the time animating than any anything else. So right. that's when I started like, okay, this is something I really interesting. Let me explore. So there's only one, one way in India to explore, right? So you become a faculty. Right. <laughs> so you're like, you know, you, I was I didn't know anything back then. You know, I'm telling sorry to all my students of, uh, officially here, but I, I have really good students you know, back then also. Like, you know, they're all yeah. good companies now. But you know, I, that's the only way for me to learn. Uh, and I had internet also, computer also. So nice. I was like, I'll work for free. Like, you know, can I become a lab faculty? Like, I can, you know, train the new new guys. And that's how yeah. I started spending some time with the computer and internet and try to understand the online tutorials. There are a few tutorials here and there, learn and try copy the same. There was one play blast with a basketball, you know, throwing on the court, you know, with I don't remember the rig, very long way. It's like a bone structure rig. So I was actually literally copying frame by copying frame. frame by frame, understand. yeah. So you understand. So understand yeah, yeah. When I tried on my own, it was looking really bad. Like, why is it looking so good? Why is it mine not looking good? Like, what am I missing? And yeah. then on the on the like copying frame by frame, that's I realized like you know what is uh, it's actually going in an arc. It's actually like bouncing really well. My bounce yeah. was my ball was not really bouncing well. You know, so those are the small things, and that's where I kind of um, you know online like in you know, a sharing. Um, uh, I saw some sharing tutorials online, and that's how I learned, and then get a first job. And then the first job was like a factory, like, you know, morning shift, afternoon shift, evening shift. Right. And I was like, you know, just belting out the... Anime anime though, right? In India. In, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yes, 
I think now I think my daughter watches it. You know, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Mickey Mouse. Oh yeah, my other daughter watches the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, so so I guess okay. it's a fun my, show for my, kids, uh, but not so good to actually work on it, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. It was, it was super, um, you know, stressful and toxic, and even toxic in the like you know they were, they don't have time. They need yeah. to finish the entire episode in like what twelve days or eighteen days, and I was really enjoying it, you know, because that actually kind of helped me to churn out the poses quickly, timing of animation, shots quickly. And yeah. that actually kind of improvised my speed. Like people hated the job, but I really enjoyed it seeing the bright side of it that I my animation was really poor and I became a fast animator, at least to understand the Maya yeah. and how the animation works, how to like, you know, just make a TV series. Yeah. So then I was like, okay, now what's next? It's been doing like one and a half year. Now what's next? I need to do something else. Now this is not fulfilling. Like I want to do something better. Like when you see the movies, like you know, all the big movies, like how Jurassic Park was one of the biggest. Like you know, that was one of the things actually changed my life. Also around like when I'm in tenth class or something. Yeah. Year ten. But yeah, that was like uh, that's one of the things. Like I came into 3D. So I want to do that. How can I do that? We are just watching, making like in you know, a TV series. Like this is not gonna help, right? Yeah. So that's when I wanted to see like what are the best studios in India. So there were like few Prana, Crest, and there was other one uh, called new one called Ethan, and the DreamWorks hasn't come yet. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, let's me try the best studio, and they said like we give you a test. Uh, okay, I don't know how I uh, actually do because I don't have a computer as well at the same time. So there was a period where the 2D they, they were saying the 2D was dying and everybody's coming to 3D, right? Yeah. So all the 2D artists were coming into 3D, and then I know 3D and they know 2D. Like you know, that's a perfect balance. Like what if we exchange our skills? Like right. I teach you the Maya and you train me the principles of animation. That's cool. And I used to like, you know, get them to the pub, you know, get them drunk and, you know, other day morning, <laughs> like I would go and learn, you know, just the thanks, like, you know, saying thanks way of like, you know, um, yeah, surprising yeah. also, like, you know, I get you drink, you know, you, you teach me something, you know, that sort of thing. That's cool. It went on for six months and then uh, there's a new company came in Bangalore. So I thought like, okay, let me apply and they gave me tests and then uh, thanks to some of my friends, like, you know, um, they actually lend me the computer. And they would be sleeping three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. I was actually like working in the in the room and like trying to like you know fix wow. my test. So so basically, like you would even had a computer, you had to borrow a computer, a computer from your yeah. friends, yes, in order to actually make like work, so you could learn learn from other people that has to had people, to yes, borrow yes. a little bit of time, yes. so you could actually be the animator that you want. That's like dedication. And what what are your parents saying at this point? Because I'm guessing you're not going the engineer route anymore, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, they were like, okay, this guy got some job, so he's okay. But he was, they were not really proud, you know, back then. Right, they were not, right. not really proud. They were like, okay, uh, he got a job and at least we, do, we don't need to worry about it. So let's okay. worry about the second son, you know. So, <laughs> so that's the shift basically that just went there. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, that's how I was actually going to my friend's room and I was practicing in the middle of the night and did the test. And then I went there. I, I presented the test in a Bangalore company in Itna. Uh, they loved it and I got a job there. So that's how kind of, you know, I was one of the really, that was supposed to be one of the best studios, like, you know, in India, like right. all the best studios, people are actually coming and applying job there. So if I get a job there, I thought I'll be cool. Like after, yeah. we did really great stuff. Um, uh, we Winnie the Pooh stuff, you know, a uh, really yeah. good one, you know, back then. And right. then what next? So yes. like, okay, well, what next? So, okay, now I need to actually start applying abroad to work on this movie because I'm one of these best companies. So I'm already like exhaust, like, you know, three and a half, four years i think by then in india mm -hmm. so maybe i should actually apply that's when i started dropping my whatever the work i had showreel i just dropped everywhere and it's a bit of it became a rat race everybody in the roaming in the same studios and politics like you said you know mm -hmm. they're trying to um, i mean i was doing good they had a training division they're asking me like if i can train and they make me lead and you know the kind of i'm like uh, other people would actually kind of you know bully and you know like trying to pull you down and you know uh yeah that stuff is uh, horrible all, all those stuff like you know i'm like this is noise i don't need this like i exactly. want to work with I, the, the better i go away from here you know the, the sooner the better you know th that sort of a thing yeah so yeah that's when i started applying everywhere and Eurocom actually kind of saw my reel online and say jose you know uh, jose, yeah, yeah. Supervisor, he's like hey do you wanna you know uh give a test for us we like your reel and you might fit our uh, criteria do you want to give a test I'm like, yeah, please, you know, and they give yeah. three tests, right? One is a punch, punch combo, a hit combo. And another one is a bit of a weightlifting. And another one is a tire a walk cycle, character walk cycle. Yeah. And I did the hit, hit combo. I made it like almost like, you know, uh, 45, 50 seconds of animation. <laughs> it's like, just they just need only see a hit, hit. But you have uh, to go above and beyond, right? Combo. <laughs> I was like, I should not miss this chance at any cost. That's I it, made right. an entire sequence of fight sequence with that rig. <laughs> yeah. 
so i'm like jo khote masafa like he's really desperate to come out of india you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or or he's really, really good or he's really dedicated right <laughs> yeah exactly i really do because that's the only chance i heard from other people that they like my reel and they want me to come in and then okay i have to do this the same thing again same friends like went to their room buy them beer and they were like sleeping and i was actually animating my test for 15 days i did those three tests and then uh, pass it to hose and i did light to render everything like whatever yeah. i can do make it all you know presentable <laughs> in 15 days and hose was like i'm surprised man you did everything in 15 days with the daily job like you know like yeah man you know i had this is this yeah of course man of course i can relate i can <laughs> relate i can relate but that's that's dedication right there man that's that's what he takes right to actually get that dream job exactly exactly you know exactly. this is one of the what do you call like you know payment for me to like you know make my dreams come true like you know to go abroad get into those movies and stuff and uh, he actually like you know probably might have felt doubt or he really wanted to see like you know hey can we actually fly you here for interview for a day you know yeah so they, for sure they actually arrange the flights and you know uh, ask me to fly to the uh, uk eurocom yeah. and we had a one day chat like me and hose went went for lunch and you know so how do cool. you do what is your approach and i'm like Oh, yeah. they actually arranged an interview for a day they actually flew me for all the way you know spending 800 pounds on top of it i'm like yeah it's interesting like definitely you stayed did you stay did you stay in a, in a hotel next door next door premier yeah. yes yeah <laughs> premier <laughs> same thing same thing <laughs> uh, oh really okay that's great yeah. man yeah i was really impressed like you know they actually got I, i was at some point i was thinking like maybe they suspect me like that i did i, I didn't do this test or somebody else did this right. but actually he was super friendly Yeah, and asking yeah. the questions and workflow and i was really impressed like you know he yeah. was really you know into the and then yeah i came back and i heard from them that i got a job i'm like yes i'm going to india sorry <laughs> i'm going to uk and then okay, the yeah. dream was came to india and i'm like okay so what right the same now? year the same year actually yeah wow but they kind of you know i got selected and i'm like no i'm going to uk i don't need dream works you know that's it exactly <laughs> so that was my attitude and then i came here and Sweet. yeah that's how you know uh we started getting job you know uh, started working eurocom and try yeah. to like that was a bigger eye opening for me because i was working for tv series and dvd movies and anything apart from the camera nobody cares and i was not even caring like you know all the bad habits of whatever i learned over there had to like you know clean a little bit in the games yeah. because it has to go with 360 degrees for sure for sure for sure yeah yeah so it's, remember, it's completely I'll, different yeah exactly yeah I used to remember like you know you know Almudina right so Almudina, you know, she yeah. used to my lead and she like you know I'm when I make a playlist like Danu you're making a playlist for camera I don't need to see camera less and uh, I was in this period where you know I remember uh, um like I need to find the room and like house and you know uh, Tony was taking us to how house weaving and stuff and you know all the accounts and stuff i was super such new country new shock and a cultural shock english shock i used to check my english before i say anything i don't right. want people to laugh at me you know there was so much of stress i was not able to concentrate my animation and you know almudina was at some point like you know danu man you're really good at animator like you know you know there is something called animation survival kit you should actually see this and you know learn some animation <laughs> that's like, cool no 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 not that bad uh, almu like it's just that you know so much of stress is going on you know it's a new yeah. country new people everything is new and away from the family and you know yeah uh, that was a really good experience with uh, and then that's when i made really good friends like almu and oli yeah. came from and you and you know all the kuru harish and you know that's so, it man like yeah, it was good people man a lot of talented people that actually they all ended up in doing great things as well right Yeah yeah, like yeah 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 all of them so it's it's really really cool Yeah I so, so when, uh, there was you know in the first floor right you guys were in first one first floor, floor right? yeah and, uh, and uh, I remember you man like you we were like you know just you know getting the uh, normal what is the bus you know for the other company used to come in That's it yeah bus, and I'm like man this guy is really cool you know it's funny it's like you know really like you know Thanks, man. To paying him more you know Yeah <laughs> well like, <laughs> No well like I actually like It's funny how how you actually like you experience even though you are in India it's kind of the same thing in terms of like being desperate to get the first job because I was the same man like I spent like three and a half years with nothing and uh, I was fully like just about to give up I'll be like okay I'm not going to get into this industry like no matter what because no one is giving me a chance and uh, I actually got turned down and like I had to work two jobs like in 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 order to make make uh, the time and and work for my skills on on my on my um, time off so like from about eight o'clock in the evening until about 
one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, every right. single day. We had, and then you have to go back to work and then you do your wow. daily job. And it was like that for like three years. So when Jose gave me a call as well, of like, you want an interview? I was in London at that point, but I was like, yes, please. And I'm pretty sure he must have seen as well on my side. I'm like, this guy is pretty, pretty desperate for a job. <laughs> <laughs> so it must have been the same thing. But the fact that they give us that opportunity there in Eurocom, I think, uh, even though the company is not there and even though, obviously, you know, it didn't end up so well for them. But I think uh, it made a lot of us really tough for this industry because one thing of Eurocom that was true for everybody is that it was hard. It was hard work and you had to kind of deliver consistently all the time with quality because the development okay. times were about nine months or like to do a game or a year to do a game, which is nothing. So, sure. so it was, it was actually a really good experience uh, overall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, that's where it's all started for me also. Like, you know, uh, just chatting with you guys, understanding like, you know, how you would actually think about animation. And I used to come and uh, like discuss these things, like, you know, how do you approach animation? Like, you know, because I just want to see, like, you know, I always have this, you know, thing in greediness in my thing. Like I really wanted to like, you know, poke other people and see how they do it. Like, I just want to see am i doing it right or not you know it's always that was eating up my brain like you know because yeah. nobody trained me well and i i didn't actually kind of had a really good training so i i have I learned on my own which is a great thing but again you kind of uh, stumble into bad habits and you know you kind of pick up really uh, not a good ways to animate and then mm -hmm. you uh, you know so i really wanted to see like am i doing it efficiently or am i doing it really in a bad way or a hard way like you know there's always efficient way right so sure. I used to cross check with our guys and, you know, all guys also like kind of in a similar way. And, you know, I was like, okay, this is good. And then we used to have this challenge, I think, uh, Ollie and um, uh, James, I think, like, you know, we were like, okay, we animate lunch uh, in the lunchtime. So I animate one hour a day. Yeah. Okay. It's really good. Like, you know, because I used to tell them because after some point, like, you know, we need to do something good, like some acting shots. Some, we're just doing only games and body mechanic shots. We need to do some acting stuff. Can yeah. we do some character stuff? And know uh, how do we get into VFX? And they used to like, you know, this guy comes and bugs about only on the VFX and getting into movies because <laughs> that was my dream. Like, you know, okay, now I come to be a game since two years. Now it's really good. Like I learned how to animate in 360, like, you know, what's next, you know? And there was mocap and I was not really particularly a big fan of mocap at the time and I'm not really enjoying it. I really yeah. want to hardcore hand key. And uh, I was like looking like what's next, like, you know, go to London and get a job there. But back then getting job in London was like a super painful and you remember, it was right? Really how hard. How yeah. Like get rejected and you know, not yeah, everybody man. made it. You were like if so you was, actually were to get a job in VFX, MPC, the mill or whatever, you're like, how did you it wasn't getting like like getting in Disney? We already had it, it was like crazy. <laughs> like, oh, wow, that's you were super good. It was it was really hard. It was really hard. Yeah, I remember. I think uh, Alessandro one who made it uh, back then. Oh Alessandro, yeah, he uh, made it. Yeah, he was working with me. Yeah, Chad Ellis went to Sony yeah. and I saw his reel. That was mind blowing. Like, uh, did he actually, how did he get his? Like, you know, I got this with my reel. Like, you know, I'll send you. Like, he sent yeah. me the reel. I'm like, you know, the black and white Morpheus character he has done. Yeah. The acting shots, like from the variety interview, I think. From, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was like, if Chad can actually get job there, you know, with so this sort of a work, so I need to be do something like this. That's so it. So that get a better job, you know, to move a little bit further towards yeah. the movie. So, and what I see, my reel was really bad. And I already started applying to MPC, DNEG, uh, I think John Cotter was there back then, and MPC and uh, Frames. So rejections, rejections, rejections. rejections. Like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, this is, uh, you know, there's something is selling me, like, you know, something is not right. My reel is not right. So I understand my reel is not right. So I need to rethink of my reel. And then Chad was actually showing that he did a complete shot just for, he sent only that to Sony and he got selected. Like, so that yeah. means I need to do a new reel. And then how can I make a new reel? Because we don't have any animated studios in um, in uh, uh, London. It's only VFX, right? So yeah. I need to, I really like, like to want to go to VFX as well. So, okay, now I need to do VFX reel. So we had the internet, that's a luxury of UK. Like, you know, I got the computer, I got the internet. Okay, let's browse all the reels. Like, you know, browse the reels from ILM, Veta, and, uh, you know, MPC. Uh, I, I had like a tons of like really like 8 GB of reels back yeah. then like all of them put them together nice. and i see okay this 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 like you know i used to make a category of reels but this guy is in Veta, this guy is in island this guy is in you know frame store so yeah. what are you know these are the best reels okay put them like a short list like almost 18 reels and i sat uh, down and i understand like okay so what is in the reels what i don't have 
So For they sure. have, uh, you know, a simple body mechanic shot and simple behavior shot. And they have single characters, double characters. There is an interaction, there's a fight sequence, there is a, you know, talking stuff. And then there's a personal work. Yeah. So with this personal work, I, I go used to go and see them in LinkedIn and see their Vimeo channels as well. So that was like, you know, eight years back, we had this personal stuff and then he progressed like, you know, eight years, he was in Veta right now or he's in Ireland right now. Okay, so this is the process, you know, there is no shortcuts. Okay, There's now no I circuits. need to sit down and do yeah. <laughs> Exactly, yeah, you just have to work hard and you skill, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> but one thing I realized that, okay, I see some personal stuff, okay, so this is the personal stuff you can actually get there, but that was eight years back, not now. So you need to improve yourself in a personal stuff as well to showcase what you can, you know, uh, to the VFX companies and then you get a job there. So then I realized like I uh, thought of like, okay, let's do this one hour animation thing, one, one hour a day. That uh, kind of went really well, but that actually got me into habit of, anyway, I'm here, I need to, instead of sitting one year, let me sit two, three hours and let's make it into Playblast. You know, the Playblast was growing really good and good. Like I got hooked up that one hour of, you know, thanks to Lawrence and uh, Trotman, you know, they, they kind of, uh, you know, we kind of started this and they both dropped eventually. And I was the one continue to keep on going on with that. It was really good. Yeah. And that actually made me to think my reel was really bad because I remember there was a play a time when the Eurocom shut down. Yep. Everybody was like on the road, like, you know, no job. Everybody like was like, what's going to happen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and my visa was almost six months, eight months down the line. Like, you know, I, I have oh. all the rejections and they told me like, you know, uh, I think Dinek told me like, you know, your reel is okay. Uh, but we can't give you because you are in a, uh, you know, work permit, you know, you need to finish your uh, five years to get a peer and then you can come and apply. Same thing with MPC. But yeah. I had like at that point, like, you know, when I applied the jobs with my old reel, I got like almost uh, 112 or 118 rejections throughout the world. Like I desperately don't want to go back to India. I, want, I can so work hard. anywhere around the world. Yeah. All rejections, man. Like I have made a video also for my students, like, you know, rejection, That's how crazy. many things I have applied, you know, some people, yeah. you know, rejected. But again, that tells me a story that you know i'm not good enough yeah with my reel i'm not yeah. showcasing my skills so then i thought like okay let me start from the scratch then it took me like almost like eight years eight eight months to one year to start like you know i divided the categories of interaction simple short difficult short like you know all this stuff and i can on that category i used to find some breaks online and then start working on that and i made my reel and then uh, the last one was hulk and t-rex fight sequence yeah. That's where in uh, ILM guys reel and MPC guys reel and what a sort of reel. Of course, it's a company work. And I was like, okay, if I can do actually in my personal work like this, definitely they could see my, my, my you know uh, talent and they can actually get me in like as in a junior run at least. So yeah. that's where I kind of uh, saved what the, uh, the best shot for the last one because I need to get practice because always your first drawing is always bad drawing, right? Yeah. You need to get your hands free, like practice, practice, same thing. Animation, first play, play, second shot, third shot, three shots gone into the bin. After the shots, what I made for eight months to that nine months is what actually my old show reel, if you see my old show, all the grayscale thing. Yeah. And the last short one was like, you know, this is the one, like I know that I'm getting my um, you know, visa in one year. I need to do the short, you know, that's when I kind of, you know, plan my reel and my shots. Yeah. And uh, Eurocom went off and thanks to my show reel, like, you know, whatever I did, I got a job in Oxford and they actually sponsored me for like, you know, one and a half year and they kind of asked me to join That's a team and lead and i was happy that you know but um the funny part was like you know i got my pr and i finished my five five uh, five years like okay i'm gonna get my visa in one week and <laughs> i was actually working on a hulk and t-rex i'm still taking uh all ollie and uh, james principal like you know animate one hour a day i was animating in lunchtime at natural motion they used to see like what are you doing man? like you know you're actually not working and like it was a lunchtime and everybody used to get impressed and give, give me comments like well, what i was trying to do yeah. and uh yeah i sent it to ollie and ollie liked it and ollie was like watching and then the uh animation supervisor was actually passing me and he's like what is this one it's really cool like let me see and he's like can i forward it to my soup like yeah please and uh, and max uh, solomon he saw my reel and he's like hey you really is good man you want to come for an interview like you know and That's ollie cool. was like hey are you coming for an interview like they really like you he was texting like <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'm really happy, man. Like, you know, when is it? Like next week, Monday? Like, yes, I'm free. I'm free. Like, you know, I didn't that's get so cool. Like, yeah. So that's how I went in uh, my first interview. I know that I'm. Um, they were asking me, like, you know, first question, like, you know, why do you have all the personal stuff in your reel? There is no official stuff. I was like, you know, I am better than what I have in my game loops. I have actually in my thumb rule, uh, thumb drive. Thumb drive yeah. 
but i just want to showcase my skills at this point of time and i know that you know gaming loops or you know gaming cutscenes doesn't work for you know uh vfx you know that's why i made this entire show reel which is close to a realistic sort of a thing and the acting also like you know realistic acting semi realistic acting cartoon acting and all the creatures close to the realistic animation and i showed them and he really uh, impressed with my an uh, answer like you know this yeah, is very work. honest he's very honest right because you just say yeah, like exactly. this is my skills now not the skills the stuff that i've done before which is great. years back you know yeah. you want to see that right so and then he was like yeah good man and your visa like yeah i'm actually getting sort my visa in another two or three weeks my pr is coming and like okay sorted like you know uh, let's uh, i don't know offer letter and Amazing. then i would offer from frame so and and i was kind of a lead guy here in natural motion and all this you know uh, bonuses and you know all the you yeah. know the benefits and uh, i got an offer from frame so for one and a half month so <laughs> i was like okay fine i don't mind like you know i, I said i'm leaving Living for what? <laughs> like for one yeah. and a half month contract, and all my you know senior manager like, are you really kidding, man? You are a lead guy here, and you are doing really good with the game. Full time, you like you, stuff. right? Yeah. You got all the benefits, and you are leaving everything just going for one and a half month contract. And my guys were like, you, Jian was like, you are actually taking a leap of faith, man. You are the really yeah. doing it. Like you don't be stupid. Like no, I want to do it. Like you know. That's it exactly, man. If you if you love it, if this is your dream, this is this is what you have to do, right? Is exactly. is a hard is a hard left. But it, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was that's really like, enough. you know, my wife was like uh, supporting me a lot. She's like, okay, that's your passion. I know that you're not gonna listen. Just go for it. And uh, yeah, I went there. And uh, whatever the um, you know experience I had that one and a half month was fantastic. And they uh, kind of you know extend the project you know a little bit more the deadlines. And then I got like extend for three and a half months, four months, and then I'm like you know. Uh, I I was really with a big expectation, like you know, I'm gonna animate like fight sequence and all this, like you know, chasing and you know, <laughs> from the beginning, creators. right? From the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and then because they actually kind of like to say the same thing, like I like, I like this shot, you know, your Hulk and the choreography was good, the the, the references and everything is really great. Like we need yeah. people like you. And then all I went there, but it's a, my bad. Like you know, there was a sequence with the Groot and Rocket. First movie was uh, Guardians of Galaxy, and that's a good uh, way to start. That yeah. was edited off, saying that you know uh, there's no this, this sequence they hired me for that was actually got cut, and uh, I end oh, up with only no. one sequence, where it's a librarian sequence. All yeah. I did was just looking around. The group was looking around. Rocket was looking <laughs> around, and that's it. Those four shots I end up with, and I was like, my dreams got shattered. Like you know, I yeah. came all the way from there, and this is what I get. Uh, but hey, you know, so but again, yes, like you know. Works. uh don't really like you know whatever comes on you do it really good like you know what of the shots cheap shots there was a shot like which i went to like 6 7 animators they couldn't do it and they came to me like you know okay let's you to this guy let's see like how it does and then i kind of animated it really well and uh, my lead liked it and he really remembered me for just for that shot like i have done it really good yeah. so that's something uh, i kind of understand and then but the best part was whatever i had the real right that's been saving my ass the entire career literally like you know jungle book was starting uh, other side in the mpc like you know i just applied there they were like hey you really is really good like you want to come and uh, come for interview like what really they called me and then <laughs> i went there and uh, they i had interview they said like you know your creative work is really good i like it so have you finished your contract with frame so like no i will be finishing in another you know uh, you know two three weeks and uh, i was actually begging your friends with my contract extends can we can we do like no no we need people in um, Montreal, we don't people in London. I'm like, oh, I yeah. I'm gonna put you in previous, like previous. Mm, okay, let me see, like you know. And then I, I got an offer from MPC. Like that's when I realized the value of your personal work. Yes. I have so many friends who are struggling to get. They were with Frame Store, like new job also, like at least two three years before they joined. None yeah. of the movie released, and they don't have any reel. So I had a reel, and I got a job before than them. They were like. stuck with the uh, frame show and they said like you know what the previous yeah because you, you you are under nda and until the until they allow you to actually put your show reel then that's exactly. when you do it even after the movie comes out it can take a long time right we wait for a six months until it comes to the dvd or uh, blu ray yeah if you're lucky enough your shots still made it to the movie <laughs> you that know or, or exactly. blu ray sometimes you know, it get cut off like you know all this one and a half year work is just for gone nothing. like you know yeah. so you can be bad for yourself <laughs> 
but yeah i have my friends like that you know who struggled in i you know in the vvf industry that you know they couldn't have anything to put in the reel and so that they can get a better offer opportunity or you know better salary or better movies or better company yeah. but luckily i had that it's not like it's like one year of hard work right all accumulating all the shorts like early morning yeah. four o'clock i used to get up work till 8 30 and uh, nine o'clock the bus will come and catch the bus and then go to the eurocom finish That's the work it. come out at 5 30 work till 11 30 and then spend with my wife for dinner and sleep for like four hours i remember i used to watch uh, arnold um, speeches he's just like you know people complained about time right so sleep faster yeah yeah I was I was like, like, yeah I, yeah i used to watch those as well because you can kind of go like okay i'm wasting my time <laughs> yeah exactly he says yeah. like you eat faster you walk faster you read faster you cycle faster why can't you sleep faster yeah that is true you know sleep only four hours and then you know, i know that is one of you all for good and all this one year of that time actually paid me off after mpc uh when i joined mpc that after one and a half month uh, Again, same thing, like, you know, whatever comes on your way, you do it good. Like, you know, Peter gave me a test and I have another Indian friend also. Like, you know, he actually got a bit of a frog animation. I got a deer and they wanted to test us. And, you know, this guy was really a bit pissed off. Like, you know, uh, why do I need, like, I got a really great thing. Like, and I'm like, no, it's okay, man, just let's do whatever, you know. Maybe it's the first time, you know, we are in MPC. They want to see our skills and, you know. Uh, and we were doing the same test and he was a bit pissed off. And, but I was like, let me do whatever I can do. Like, this is my only shot. I can show my skills. And they put me into the acting stuff and, you know, Baloo and Bagheera stuff. And I was like, really thankful because I spent that time on like, you know, because that's our first animal create shot I have done for VFX and yeah. uh, deer. I really uh, enjoyed it. And I kind of not going for lunches properly, coffees properly. I'm like, I really like this. I, how can I get this? I, the rigs were good. The uh, references were great. I really enjoyed the process. And they put me into like, you know, oh, the work is really good. Like, let's put him into this department. And I went to the higher department where I was actually with like, you know, animation, mid-level animators and uh, sort of a seniors, you know, doing the acting oh, for Bolo. I was like, that was a dream come true. But again, like, you know, if you look at uh, underestimate, like, you know, Ramesh was a little bit of, you know, nah, I don't really mind, you know. So so he, he, got, he got given some crown shots. But after that, he came back really quickly within a month to acting stuff as well. But again, yeah. whatever comes on your plate, you know, do not underestimate or uh, why do I need to do this? Like, you know, I'm much more better than this. Like, you know, yeah, don't think that. Yeah, Go it's, through it's, the process. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Super important, man. Like, I actually, like, ha have something coming up that is actually talking about that, that, like, like whatever you do, do it well. You know, exactly. like, and, and it doesn't matter what it is. Like, even if you are, like, a janitor or if you, if you are actually, like, just, like, whatever you do, like do it well because you never know when the next opportunity is going to come from that's exactly what you what you're saying right now right like you had the one shot in the first job and that one shot take you to the next thing and then same thing on the second job you got the one shot with the deer and you did a good job and then that gave you opportunity right so uh, yeah, like definitely. doing a good job any with anything that you like even if it's just a wing flapping just <laughs> animate the hell out of that wing to exactly. make sure that, that it actually just like looks amazing you know no, no, very true. Yeah, yeah. Just we just have to do it good, and you know, we we never know what's actually waiting after that. Seeing that quality, like output, yeah. we don't know what's waiting for us next, right? That's something amazing to see. And and again, VFX, anything can happen after one and a half month. You know, uh, movie is on hold, and we have one and a half year contract, and they say like we need to let you go now. <laughs> yeah, like I remember Eddie also. Eddie, you remember uh, Eddie Chu, right, from Griffin Academy. Eddie Chu, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he came from all the way from New Zealand to L London the same week. And, and end of the week, even he has to leave back again because oh, you know, no. it was super hard on us. Like literally, like you know, we were like, what should we do now? You know, and then uh, at the same time, you know, I approached uh, ILM also. Like you know, at the same time. They were like, you know, contacting me like, hey, are you free? Like, no, no, I'm busy with MPC. That's what my reply on three o'clock. But 12 o'clock, this news got broken that, you know, uh, they're going to let us go. And we were like, oh, no, 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 I'm free. I'm free. You know, I'm <laughs> replying, I'm free. Like, and um, yeah, they said, like, come on Monday, like, let's have an interview. That's for Avengers. I'm like, yes. yes. So I went there. And again, you know, that Hulk and T-Rex shot and other animals and creatures shot saved my ass again there. You know, that's like. Good work, man. Really good work. Like, we need people like you, like who understand the reference and try to get the essence of reference and put it on the animation. And you know, you did a really good job. And we need guys like you. And that went on like you know four months, and that was an amazing job. And again, I used to get like a it's a it's a fight sequence. You get like eight frames of you know 
motion blur shot. You know, they're yeah. like, you know, 18 frames of handles, 18 frames of handles, eight frames. It's a motion blur, you know. I'm like, it's gone. <laughs> but again, like, you know, can I say it proudly? It's not there. But but actually, uh, uh, the body mechanics, the uh, the way they see in ILM, especially there was a guy called Craig Basley. He was amazing animation supervisor and Aslan was there. And they see this quality. They see the how the body mechanics they move. I learned a lot like that four months, it, just a four months, but it blew my mind like, you know, like being next to them, right? Yeah, that it was like amazing level yeah. of um, details what they see. Yeah, that was something I never actually would have thought about that. And then uh, they say like, oh, gig is over, like, you know, probably, you know, we need to see you after some time, you know, when, when we have the second gig. Uh, okay, now I was like, okay, can I mail, you know, my animation supervisor, Peter, hey, Peter, like, I just finished my contract. Like, she's like, okay, come on in, man, we need you. <laughs> she right. remembered me by name, you know, just because yeah. of that thought. And I was like, you know, got uh, really close to her and, you know, the team, just because of what we are doing with the Baloo animation, and they liked it. And they remembered me, so which is really good. I'm like, okay, this is awesome. I'm not just a number on Excel sheet. I'm yeah. actually a member, you know, in a team. And from yeah. member to member, there was a promotion, you know. I was like, it. yes, you know. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> and, and, it's, and it's not all about the money, right? Because I'm pretty sure like at that point, you're just getting like slowly getting started, right? But exactly. like just you making a difference in people's minds, you, you just like get upgraded. Um, oh, yeah, yes, and and yeah. maybe maybe not me monetary, but at that point, but then <laughs> you will come at a later point, right? You just need to make a difference exactly. in the beginning. And then no, just, to make yeah. that impact that people are remembering you, which is good. Yeah. Not by you, but by your work. That is something by your work, yeah. always matter, right? Yeah. So that was the one good thing. Like she said, like, no, come and join from Monday. Like, I haven't got offer letter. Like, doesn't matter. Come to the reception, you know, it come to you. <laughs> I got my offer letter and then I went and joined the desk, same old desk. And I spent the, like, you know, one out of year. And uh, I really, uh, what you call, you know, uh, that opened a new, um, that's when I started loving the creatures in Jungle Book. Okay. So this is my Jungle Book beard, by the way. So I just kept it from there. <laughs> just kept it on <laughs> so, there. So the movie, I kept on like not shaving, just let it go, and then you know, just kept it on. You know. And and how cool how cool is it that you used to watch Jungle Book as a child, as you said, yeah. right? And then you get to work in the movie of the Jungle Book afterwards. That must have been awesome. Like that connection that, must have been cool. That was the, the the best experience, you know, as in a human, like you know, as like what I've been gone through. All yeah. the, you know, renting the computer the and working on somebody else's, you know, houses and uh, borrowing the laptops and, you know, the, it's all like kind of an early morning, 4.30 to 9.30 yeah, for the work on yeah. the late nights all paid off. That was one of, uh, yeah. One that was, of the, that was the moment, actions. right? But I felt like for myself, like, you know, okay, I'm not bad, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's funny because like um, you actually go through so many things over so many years and this is like... This is why I think it's so important to do this crazy stuff that you mentioned in the beginning of your career. Because if you work incredibly hard in the beginning, and it's, it, sometimes it sounds crazy, it gets to a point that now you actually can just sail through because now yeah. you have the respect. People know your name. You know that you can find a job. Even if you can try a few things, if they don't work out, you can always go back to a place that you actually know that, right? Oh, so exactly. True. It feels really good because you know all of a sudden you're like, okay, so I got this. I feel like it's not like I'm just not desperate anymore. Like when we were went to the Eurocom, right? <laughs> that stuff is gone. <laughs> no, I can get work. Yeah. I can get work now. So it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's always bugging my mind. Also, like you know, I always want to try games, movies, and like you said, you know, once you've seen all of it, then you can go back and you know, you can yeah. go back to whichever the one you like the most to doing every day, right? That's so it, that was man. one of the thing, and again, I really don't want to settle myself with only MPC. Like you know, uh, sure. what culture was great. I mean, it was a bit of a stress, and you know, the time was uh, uh, faster turnovers and stuff. You know, where we have uh, weeklies in uh, or yeah. maybe three days once dailies in Eurocom, but here it was like morning dailies, lunch dailies, dailies. evening dailies. Like you know, before three you want to and the supervisor and then go, there yeah. is no time for anything else, right? But I know that you know, you just have to give you time for one thing at this point of time, it's going to come back and you know, pay back in you know, a big time. And uh, of course, I really right. kind of uh, help me and understand that thing like, you no, know, do not underestimate your personal value. And, you know, you create opportunity to showcase your skills by your real. By your real, exactly. You have. Yeah, man, like, you know, fall into this rat race, like, you know, nine to five jobs or, you know, I just need only money for my credit card, car loan or house loan, or like, you know, I don't have time, I don't have time. But That's instead it. of, uh, you know, worrying like that, so take some time out 
and just give it to one thing like you know um, cha- try to change it like you know try yeah. to change it i've seen so many people who really want to get in you know uh, with us in even eurocom and other companies they yeah. want to come to movies they really want to be in the movies but they fail to go there just because of you know the small things like small adjustments on the time if yeah. you can make it and you know you dedicate yeah. the time showcase your skills like if we don't showcase our skills then how can we help ourselves and who will help us you know could not agree more man i think you actually it's a brilliant point because this is i i found this true like like no matter like some people are very talented and they don't want to do the work and some people can do a lot of work but they're not talented enough right but in in between all that there is like a middle ground that if you do enough work you can get a job at some point and if you're not talented enough if you actually kind of like just do enough then eventually you're going to get there right and i think that that uh, sacrifice of like being comfortable and actually having to do work sometimes is like that comfort wins the battle and then people always wonder what am i doing wrong because obviously i'm working 2 hours a day on my animation and i'm still not getting anything but maybe the skills are not there and as you said like 1 hour is not enough maybe you have to actually put out 8 hours a day in uh, in order for you to be better but you need to be realistic with that because if you are as you said unless you help yourself to for people to see your talent no one else is going to do it in the beginning and then eventually as you said like when other people see your talent like that 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 lady that actually call you back they be like dano is that guy so let me call him back without your reels or anything because i know that he works well at that point it's fine but in the beginning it needs to be you showcasing that stuff exactly that that's true if we don't you know help ourselves and again we also like you know we have this ego also sometimes like i have like 8 years of industry experience why should i like you know they should be understanding how can i capable of what i'm capable of like no yeah, you're no. not their brother in law or somebody or like you that's know it. i you know family like you know i can actually tamper you know and then get him in no yeah. there are like thousands of people waiting for the job and they are actually putting their, their skills on the reel so why can't you take the same opportunity rather you know just saying it like and again you know it's uh, it's that um, you know like getting comfortable is some sometimes can be dangerous as well yeah. uh, you know you need to do that uncomfortable things definitely can bring you a great joy later but not at that point of time not at that like point again, like eating yeah. sweet is not really good for like anything goes in easy is not good for you it's not good for your something body wrong is right? yeah it's exactly life also. <laughs> you know something in life is really easy that something wrong you know with the life you know that's it's it man not supposed to be so comfortable like that you know Compl- watching too much netflix and playing too many games is not good for animation <laughs> <laughs> exactly well, about that right when we were working on eurocom before i yeah. made my reel you know i i used to wow, play god of the war like you know all the levels and i yeah when i started my show reel and i realized like i wasted 8 months of my time playing that yeah. game i should have actually like you know made my showcase you know made my reel which yeah. actually got me in here and when the um, company shut down I didn't have time in my hands like you know that's when I was kicking my you know ass like yeah. no why did I do this like for sure so for sure always... yeah when you look back when you look oh, yeah, back you're yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. like I, I could have done this better like instead of spending because <laughs> you can easily spend 8 hours playing a game right like if you start early in the morning like you can easily spend that or more if you spend <laughs> if you spend like even 4 of those hours just animating that would be a, like a nice time well spent <laughs> uh, so Uh, I have a question for you because I want to talk about your business as well because it's really impressive but I wanted to ask you something that a question that I keep getting on my YouTube channel all the time and I think you are the perfect champion for this question which is people saying I am abroad somewhere outside of Europe outside of the US Canada and because of that I cannot get a job in Europe or you know US or Canada what would you say to somebody that that actually thinks that coming from where you came from well i think you know things have changed these days a lot you know things have changed and especially uh, people have this sort of a thing like oh I'm, i cannot actually you know come because of visa issues mm-hmm. these days they should know that visas are super simple and super easy and one thing they doesn't know is like you know we fall under a short uh, category i think i don't remember the part- exact name we come into the category we are not nurses we are not it guys we are not engineers like you know they have plenty already we come into shortage skills yes shortage skills list mm-hmm. so when company uh, wants you government will definitely can get you visa nice. that is for sure so it boils down to only one thing <laughs> showcasing our skills That's if it. we fail to do that 
there is nothing in the world like who can actually we can be sitting and kicking in our asses on the bed like why i'm not getting job but at the same time just get up you know and sit on your ass in front of computer so try to like you know try to be uh, what do you call like you know uh, showcase your skill like you know edit your so real right P- people ask me like you know i have like you know 2 and 1/2 minute of a reel like uh, can i add one more shot make it like 3 minutes no it's not the one yeah, which actually increase the timeline it's actually yes, yeah. the one shows your skills at this point of time when i when you see your reel this actually showcase my skill at this point of time because every day you are improving every day That's your right. eye for your details are improving every day your skills are improving am i up to date yeah if i'm not then change it we are not a tree if you yeah. don't like something we can move you right you can move yeah same yeah, yeah. thing 100%. same thing if i don't like my job if i don't i'm keep crying about my job i had a bad you know animation so was a bad you know for production i'm working late so like you know what am i trying to change it is mm-hmm. what the main question you know what everybody missing it's always like you know oh i, I didn't get job in ilm i didn't get job in mpc like opportunities always there maybe the time would be wrong That's like it. i remember abhishek was really uh, done a fantastic job uh, but he hasn't actually heard anything from anybody because the covid times and everything was on a hold and the time was not right so what you have to do as an animator was what makes you happy animating just keep doing that of course the money would be a bit of issue you can pay your bills and you know, calm down all like you know you can bring all your expenses down what makes me happy was animating even when i lost the job at eurocom i was not able to think about that you know my wife was always like crying like you know what to i'm like if i keep crying about that nothing is going to happen so let me concentrate on my reel i used to get happiness while animating There's some small leg plant comes in beautifully with a yeah. compressed out oh my god i love this <laughs> like bring my wife and like she like you're really happy man you know no you know that right like yeah. i'm actually happy like what about the next month we're running out of savings like it will be fine it will be fine you know that's you know it. so that's something like just try to make what you're happy and build your reel and showcase your skill do not fail there you know if you if you fail there basically you're failing yourself that's it you exactly. have to showcase every like you know every movie comes out i'm i'm the one like always updating my reels because i really wanted to showcase the new company that what i can do yeah and w- what i can put in my reel I, mm. even if i'm not getting really good stuff at some point of uh, time in mpc i was not getting a good shots so i was animating at home i yeah. i did a, a t-rex for a sequence like where the two t-rexes you know the baby t-rex get eaten by the big one and i told my head of animation uh, man you know you love my reel and you actually got me here and i am not getting any shots i get all bad stuff like and you know, i'm not really happy with my job here so i'm actually taking a break you know sickly when i'm actually animating at home to make myself happy and he's like no this is not right so let me come and talk to you with the production and uh, you got to be asked at some point like you know what you need once you are there also right That's so him, all the time try to be uh, do the best work personal professional doesn't matter end of the day try to showcase you you could be really like you know genius in your brain yeah but if you could not sell it if you could not show it if you fail there people won't acknowledge that and we would miss a lot of opportunity so Completely. these days visas and bringing countries like it's actually proven with my students also like you know all my students are first batch students they are abroad right now and they didn't even think i never recommended anybody to any vfx studio that one shot saved their asses that's yeah. all you know whatever they did with me on a caw that shot actually went viral and they get call from recruiters i'm telling everybody like recruiters animation supervisors animation list they always on linkedin they always love the new, really good stuff you know when you have a really good creature stuff they would forward to you know the swoops and leads and asking for hey this guy is good like you know, what do you think we need animators so this could be our guy exactly so you are generating opportunity you are creating opportunity for yourself rather waiting you might yeah. not get it now when the new movie starts you did a saber tooth there's a tiger show coming next 6 months down put this guy name in there we used That's to it. do that in ilm yeah yeah and and see what's funny is that like i know that this is like old man talk because i'm going to say some stuff about old school and it used to be this way and now is this way but genuinely like when we started right the way you used to submit your reel it was by like posting something through the mail um like it was rare that you could find a link cuz there was no vimeo there was no youtube or anything like that right so you had to post something on through the mail in order for people to maybe call you someday so you had to post lots in order yeah. to maybe get one answer and normally the answer was like thanks for submitting but not right now mm-hmm. and then you get so excited you open that letter and no so eventually <laughs> eventually you get a shot and that's great but nowadays if you really think about it because of social social media because of youtube because of all these things like 
you don't even have to actually kind of like be working uh, per se or just waiting for that opportunity for somebody to hand you that opportunity for you to start animating. You can just like animate for the passion like you did. Like you had to borrow a computer from a friend in order to kind of showcase your, showcase your passion for animation. You know, you had to buy them beer and all that stuff. That's the kind of passion people need. And if you have that and you put it on your YouTube channel or you put it on Twitter, eventually somebody's going to come along and be like, man, this Danu guy has all kinds of stuff. Let, let us call him over and, and all that stuff. And then also you can sh showcase your personality on YouTube on, on Twitter as well, right? Like I get a lot of that stuff of like people sometimes talk to me like they know me because they see my videos and then they're like, well, okay, Harvey's cool because of these things, but I don't know them. And for me, it's the first time that I'm finding them, right? <laughs> so mm -hmm. like, it's the same thing for anybody that hasn't been working in the industry as well. You can showcase your personality, you can showcase your work and without you actually, and eventually somebody will actually uh, come and get you. Just do it for the passion and showcase your passion and work really hard because it's just unavoidable nowadays and you have more venues to actually showcase your work than ever. And uh, I kind of yeah, wish yeah. I had that back in the day. Cause no, it would have no, been, no, no, no. I feel, I feel like it would have been, it would have been better. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, very true. Back then it was only, I think AWN was only one uh, website where we can upload, but rest yeah. everything was, there's no channels at all. But these days the social media is everywhere. Like, you know, animation supervisor could be on a toilet and he's like, you know, scrubbing the LinkedIn. He could see you you know, holy shit, this is really holy good. Holy shit, one. this is really but, cool, yeah. Exactly. So they would actually put that reminder, like, you know, we are actually starting something with, uh, you know, gorillas or monkeys or this guy have a really good, you know, monkey shot. Like, let's actually put him that's on it. the list and why not? You know, if this guy looks like so that's all. And again, like I tell my guys, like, you know, you are not actually local right now with the internet. Yeah. You are global. So make sure that your audience is not local audience or your, you know, uh, South India, North India or in the UK, Europe, you know, your audience is global. That's you it. have this social, uh, you know, uh, networking tools. Why can't we use that and you yeah. know get more um, visibility so that you know people would see our work? Yeah. I always tell my students, you know, you don't need to be known by your name, but you should be known by your work. By your work, yeah, exactly. That Completely. short, like I used to get that even now, like you know, if I go to pops in London, like I get that. You are the guy who did the Hulk and T Rex, man. Come on, <laughs> exactly. man. Exactly. I still remember, like even like a yeah. you know, ten years old short, you know. That's something I really like about even my. I remember this uh, in uh, and again I went back to ILM after so long. And I was a Transformers and my um, Matthew uh, animation supervisor, he called me and said, hey, you will be actually working on Ready Player One, you know, from next week. And, uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, you'll be with me like, you know, I have assigned some shots to you, like, check it out. Like, I, I, I asked him, like, I hope you have given me good shots. And he said, like, um, yeah, I remember your Hulk and T-Rex sequence, <laughs> like, uh, five sequence. I gave the same similar sort of a thing. I'm like, dude, that was like almost... Six years back work I did on Jungle Book, Same. I did Fantastic Beast, I did Avengers. Uh, he didn't remember any of that work, but he yeah, still remember that. the personal work. Yeah. So that's what I'm telling uh, all the audience, like guys, my friends or my students also, like do not underestimate your personal work. For sure. That's going to sure. make you, that's going to put you onto the map, you know? Completely. And and like I do this myself nowadays because like you go through your Twitter feed, I go through my Twitter feed at least. And then sometimes you find the one animator, two animators that you're like, man, this shot is really cool. This shows a lot of potential. So you're not necessarily like reach out to the animator, but you just follow them. And then yeah. you just see what happens next. And then if the animator has more and more and more and it keeps dropping like really cool shots, you kind of go like, okay, so this is the guy that did these things and he has a knack to do this specific thing, right? So like, it wouldn't be a big step from that to get a DM from like, would you want to go for, would you want to come for an interview? Yeah. Because, you know, if I can see that you consistently are working on your work, that's number one. That's really good, really awesome. Second, you're actually constantly improving your work. That's amazing. And then your personality on Twitter, it's really cool because you're engaging with people and all that stuff. Then for me, I want to know more about you. And that's the, what the first interview is, right? It's just not exactly. so much about getting the job, but it's like, what kind of person is Dano? Do I want to hang out with Dano for like a year working on this project? Sure. Um, so then if you are that person, then a, a job is just you know a matter of time. Eventually, you'll get it. 100 percent i'm with you i'm with yeah. you you know that that's uh something like you know what's saving my ass also like always you know just that put the good out work there constantly like you know uh make an impact like you know do, do not like you know just put one there and if you didn't get job like no no constantly animate constantly, constantly up animate, yeah. and let, let get more visibility let people know like you know you are you know this sort of a guy 
wants to work with creatures or animals or characters or you know or they should know you by you know every two three months he's constantly dropping some really cool stuff he's a really good guy to bring into the studio and you know to bring you know give him a job or i would really like to work with this sort of a guy you know yeah, so exactly. you are generating that you know opportunity for yourself there and you're creating an opportunity there you know even yeah. they don't need you right now but they will keep you in the list they will keep you in the mind for you for sure for, for the for the future yeah 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 so yeah no i think you are like the perfect champion for the person that actually thinks that it's impossible for them to come over at some point cuz uh, you did a lot of hard work in in different ways and you eventually <laughs> man- managed to get here and you know what's funny is that when you start working this uh, the, that way that you started and i can relate to that it never leaves you yeah. like because i could have easily be not working like doing the youtube channel and doing like the workshops that i do and stuff i could easily just like do my day job and that's it but it's some it's funny because you spend so many years working so hard over time doing stuff on top of whatever you do in order to kind of progress yourself as an animator as a professional that when you don't do it it feels odd and it feels like you're wasting time <laughs> so then what happens is that what can i do in my spare time that is going to like make me feel fulfilled and uh, this is why i do the youtube channel and i'm guessing this is why you have your business right yeah, right yeah, now yeah. with your animators yeah 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 so talking about that i'm really interested to know more about because you have the workshop right and then you have yeah. like this other company that you have right now so can you tell us a little bit about both and how because they are very successful so can you tell us a little bit about how they actually came about and and how what kind of things are you guys working on yeah like 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 you just mentioned that you know this is what we like to do you know uh, that extra bit of that you know the passion you know that's what makes us alive you know that's what brings mm-hmm. that you know fulfilling that yes i did like before yeah. i go to sleep like i did actually animate i actually share some knowledge and you know, that's something really helps us a lot you know to fulfill that you know not just a job right so yeah. like um like you know dropping all the stuff online i have generated some sort of a vimeo uh fan following like people would actually hey like you know i have this short what do you think do you want to like you know comment and you know give me some feedback i used to give feedback to those guys and uh, some people actually got back to me and said like you know oh this short is actually improved a lot thanks for you know your feedback and you know i actually got job there i'm like oh, because of the short i'm like okay this is really interesting and he said thanks to me and and some people never came back and they're like we can't make this guy happy like you know this this guy gives us uh, <laughs> thousands of comments and i i cannot do this like some people didn't come back and that was quite um, not more motivating for me to give more, more feedback but this is where i thought of I understand like you know everybody used to like you know hey you are really good at something like you know and the feedback so why can't you actually kind of uh, come up with some sort of a training course or something i i was like you know ignoring like i don't think i can do that like i was talking to one of the guy who teaches at animation mentor and i was actually asking like you know hey i do this like you know all the vimeo guys you know in my linkedin and vimeo they were like oh we do the same thing in uh, class but you know we get paid and you're actually doing it for free I'm like do you think i'm good enough like you know like you know, if you are kind you your your animators are really happy then you should be good then then i don't like okay i maybe like you know i was like you know really enjoying the process of giving comments to yeah. see the work coming back to me in an improved way and that guy hooked up with me like you know i like your stuff man can you give me more comments more comments i'm like and that guy got job again like you know in a good gaming company he he liked it and he was like thanks for my you know um, making my life you know a dream come true sort of a thing and i was a part right. of that journey like this is really interesting and let me actually see and i need a more students now how, how, how what should i do again again like you know i created that opportunity for caw also like i have uh, just typed some sort of a format of thing and i went to linkedin and i have selected the more, more fans of my work like on vimeo on linkedin yeah. i just messaged them like hey guys like i'm planning to start some training course and if you are really interested or your friends are really interested do let me know maybe we could actually talk and uh, it went on for like uh, within 15 to 20 days i got really good responses and i took like three people they're like my guinea pigs basically so i <laughs> kind of went, you know train them and you not know, tune the everybody from different uh, sort of uh, age like you know experience levels yeah, yeah. and even 2d and 3d as well so that's cool oh, let, me, let me take this challenge you know so it's very hard to explain uh, in the beginning but i kind of uh, made this uh, courses like in you know, a workshop 1 2 3 for these sort of a guys let me try and you know so this could be like whatever i have done with my reel mm. i just went back so what yes, was my first shot second shot third shot so third shot could be my first workshop right fifth shot could be my second workshop like you know eighth shot cool. could be my workshop three so i have repeated my success with caw courses basically right and uh, while you are in the production right then vfx you kind of know that 
everybody gets the shot and everybody delivers the shot in a great way where the quality looks absolutely amazing and it, you cannot actually say that oh that's a junior shot that's a senior shot that's a mid level shot no quality is same throughout the movie right nice. but the level of uh, shots you are dealing with is complexity that could be different be based on your experience if you're a junior guy you'll get a uh, less complex shots if you're a senior right. guy you get a great shots and a more complex shots if you're a lead and you get acting stuff which is emotional stuff like which is really important stuff yeah. but the quality is same right so nice. that's how i made the workshop like workshop 001 you are intern to the uh, bfx like how would you actually start with a yeah. basic box cycle and how and uh, workshop 1 simple body mechanics but with the behavior on top of it if yeah. we just walking running chasing nobody uh, get connected with the creature but we need to throw some behavior like why is he doing and how is he doing Right. and the complex body mechanics which is workshop 2 and 3 and you know 3 uh, is like interaction you know i won't be teaching them like basic body mechanics which i did here because over there interaction is like a bigger thing than that like you know uh, we have bigger fish to fry like you know how the power, power transfer who controls whom how the power right. transfers in a funny way in an interesting way in a great way or what is the choreography there's so much you know things to fry here rather just talking about can you fix the tail and the nails and you know that's it plants yeah. and weight chips right so that's how i made the course and um, i started giving those guys lectures and uh, now they're actually uh worked in uk as well those guys so one, one guy is in canada oh, both cool. of them in the uk and you know so they are really uh, able to like you know again i didn't actually put the work online they actually share showcase in linkedin they got <laughs> job call from mpc and there was a uh, actually uh call from canadian uh, mpc also these guys were like you know uh calling like i'm um, animation supervisor like you know i really like your work do you want to come on for an interview like you are cool. it's a prank call right <laughs> like it's not prank <laughs> call this is actually real call and he was surprised as well you know that way yeah. but again like you know you just do um you know just go behind the quality and showcase how much ever you can do with the social media these days people will follow you people will you know try to contact yeah. you for more work right so that's what i'm doing with the workshop and end of the day like you know every time in the vfx we see always there is a gap between normal animation schools or you know uh, tv or games or you know um, dvd movies when they come in there is a bit of a struggle for a, uh, you know one or two months like to understand the quality i had a bit of a tough time to understand how to animate in 360 and yeah. at the same time to animate as realistic as possible which is going to take some time we give give a train uh, yeah. training so same thing i tried out of ilm and uh, i kind of understand like okay Uh, after uh, four years of ILM, then I realized like okay, I need to take a break because my wife was pregnant and she's a pregnant baby. So I chase movies, games, and then all my career. So yeah. I'm okay in a really good spot after working with Michael Bay, you know, Spielberg, and uh, I know Star Wars, all that in Avengers sort of a movie. Like I'm like yeah. maybe I should just take a step back and give time to family because I'm burning. My wife supported me a lot, you know. Yeah. So this is where, like I thought like repay her back like you know help her completely her I get that and yeah. uh, she she could have divorced me like long back from Europe you know <laughs> she always animating and play blasting you know and actually looks at me and she's yeah. also an animator she understand the pain of that Oh so nice she she's also an animator I didn't know that's yeah, great yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so in between I actually trained her to get um, you know into VFX industry she was cool. also working for free freelance for Eurocom also but oh, she said like you know i want to come to vfx as well like you know you need to re- rethink your life again and uh, yeah. i told her give me 6 months of your time i will train you yeah. so i trained her that took 8 months and she literally no social life working 6 months into into the four right. walls and you know she made her real and her first gig was in frame store the funny That's part amazing. was when i left the frame store i recommended her nobody actually given a damn about her but she actually got a call after one week saying that you know there was a, another animation supervisor from um, uh, actually shooting place where he was actually saw her reel on Vimeo yeah and then she actually like you know got contacted from the recruiter you know where this animation supervisor and she had an interview and she got a job in frame so her first job that's was amazing. frame that's amazing so, that's amazing like you know the same successful point i'm actually try to train with my animators uh, cool. in CAW so that's how the CAW went on a bit bigger and um, Uh, the first real what i i really don't want to go and say hey i have started my animation school like do you want to come and join like, who the hell is this guy like who is yeah, he like yeah, yeah. don't even know him like and so i have to make that you know uh, thing not me speaking my student surely should speak yeah so that's where you know i kind of collect all my three students surely put them together i left it uh, online and uh, that's what it actually generated the waves and you know okay that's this cool. is something really interesting let me go and since then whoever contacts me there is only like you know one sort of a people like you know 
uh generally two two sort of people like one guy or one sort of a gang is like you know this different uh, set of people where you know they really wanted to learn character creature animation they know it's hard they know they can't do it they know that you know they're like you know i'm ready for it but there are separate gang like you know double minded like you know i i don't know i can do it i don't know i can do it i oh i, don't I see know. but yeah. what i have wanted to see in them is the passion you know i'll see like i whoever approaches me in caw i actually see the real and i have intro session with them like one hour in a zoom call yeah you know and i actually talk to every student and understand why they're actually coming to me half yeah. of the people will get dropped away because you know this is not our cup of tea and i cannot do this sort of a uh, over time and i cannot put the money and my time in like this like yeah. other guys and they're scared already but those are the people who are already like you know got level of the scared like you know i'm not scared yeah. anymore i definitely need to do this let's go and yeah. talk to this guy and then I, i i see that passion in them in that one hour intro i understand them like you know why they wanted to uh, learn see uh, you know creatures why they wanted to you know uh, come and join on me so yeah. even when i'm spending my time i have to spend in a good way like i need to spend with the yeah. good guys if i don't surround myself with a really good artist i will get bored of uh, sharing this knowledge and teaching these guys i 100% agree cuz animation is really tough and it requires a lot of dedication so i completely understand what you mean cuz like with uh, with my students is the same thing sometimes you get the odd student that obviously wants to try it out and you you know you they they try it and you can see that they actually spinning their wheels a little bit and you try to motivate them and push them forward but i feel like they are pretty much on like the borderline of like i think this is not really for me or maybe like this is too hard or something like that but then there's the students that i genuinely like have tried everything else like come on man just help me out like you are the like <laughs> i've been doing this for 3 years or whatever and i just need some help and those students are the best because then you just nudge them the correct way and you can tell they just get it because they they know what you're talking about they just exactly. need the yeah, correct yeah. nudges in order to get it finally and then just like sail through and then those are the one only once they get a job straight after because yeah exactly uh, yeah yeah, life, yeah right yeah so you need to find them you need to find like i have seen like so many rich kids also coming and asking hey your workshop looks really cool like you know my dad has so much money i don't know what to do like can i burn on you like you know yeah <laughs> awesome i'll see you soon by delete you know i would never reply back to them uh, yeah. but again like you know i really wanted to uh, not waste my energy on to something like you know who doesn't need that point of time you know who really yeah. needs me and you know bit of a direction bit of a help and support i i really wanted to choose those those guys because i can see that like all my students like sending their pictures from canada or like you know you yeah. uk and you know um, australia saying that you know thanks man you know i've been trying this from 8 years i never actually came out of india or you know came out That's of my it. dream company this is actually happened from the logo of the company or maybe the nature of you know the country yeah. and they say like you know thanks for you know uh, helping to come here you know and you made my dream come true and i'm a part of it and that kind of inspires me a lot like to train more and more guys you know for sure so at the end of sure. the day we are building a better community and that's actually yeah. paying me back in a big way in my student uh, sorry in my uh, studio right now right i i train all these guys and whatever we be like I, i tell my guys like you know do not just animate for average shot don't just yeah. you know do that you are going to spend your 3 months time with me and you know try to pick up something really challenging and where you can actually showcase your skills globally yeah not just like you know for a, do not do anything for your uh, real sort of a thing or i need to get a job you know everybody at some point everybody they were asking like everybody is getting job abroad like you know, can i come and join you like i'm not running a visa services here you know <laughs> <laughs> this is not right like you know if you go with that sort of a goals like you know higher yeah, salary no. or like you know um increments or opportunities or like you know positions like leave, you want to become lead no no just follow one thing like try to come to me or you know try to uh, learn the skills yeah that's it if i that's see that it's all about that guys, they're yeah. coming to me to learn some skills because if you follow behind the work name job fame opportunities or everything, everything, everything will follow you but yeah. if you go behind the money it's yeah. going to run twice faster and you'll be like chasing for your life long Yeah 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 as 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 people said before people wiser than me like no one got rich because they were falling money right no one actually got got to be a millionaire or billionaire because it's passion it's all about passion so if you show your case your passion by for animation in your own work um then people will actually get it and another thing that i like to say is that you can say a lot about yourself within your work right exactly. like like you can show your personality and your individuality by actually showcasing your your creativity within your work and it 
if you have a showreel that is slightly different than the rest because it's more like creative and original and has cool ideas, guarantee that's going to be the guy be like, this guy, I haven't seen this before. This is cool. Especially for people that have been around for a while like us to yeah. see something like that. And it's like all of a sudden you're like, man, this is, this is different. Yeah. And uh, that yeah. stuff is awesome, man. No, we need to take that opportunity, right? We need to create yeah. that opportunity, like, you know, that nobody gives us. If you're deep into the passion and you really wanted to make a difference, you know, you would think like that. But again, in order to go there, you there is no shortcuts. That's you need to get up and, you know, work it out and you know, keep on doing that. And that's, that's something, right. you know, what I would like to tell my students also, like, there's the, in the intro session, like, what do you think, how many hours I can put it into the course and workshop? Like, I said, like, if you can put 28 hours, I'm super happy. Like, you know, <laughs> the more you put in, as the many more hours as you can. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The more you put in, the more you're going to get out of the workshop, right? So yeah. simple as that. We're all grown up adults. We know what we are here for. Like, That's you know, it. there is no, uh, you know, cap for like, you know, the amount of uh, putting hours in there. Like, you know, there are some guys who really inspire me. They join my workshop after two months. They, they thought like, you know what? I'm doing a really bad job. Like I'm not really understanding, you know, I really like animating on this creature, but whatever I'm doing in a daytime job, I'm not liking it. I want to come out of it. And they resigned the job and they took a break from the job. They actually animated the uh, creature yeah. workshop on it the two day, two months completely, like full time. They loved it. And there are some people who actually balanced the jobs and tried it. And uh, the That's other it. guys like who left the job, I want to do this one. And then obviously when you showcase your skills online there, right? Yeah. So you get a better opportunity, like, you know, if you keep on thinking like, you know, I need to do the job, I need to keep on doing the job, but I'm not getting a better opportunity, you will that's not it. get it. Unless you will you... not get it. Yeah. Exactly. And, and you know what? I think there's something, there's something interesting to be said about like people being put in an awkward situation or like in a situation of, of being desperate about something, because uh, I feel like that changes you as a person, as an animator, because if you are in a situation that you like, well, like, for example, I lost, there was this uh, problem that I had in London. I lost my job and my, my, my place to live in the same day. And, uh, that situation like made me grow as a person hugely because all of a sudden it's like, where am I going to sleep and where am I going to get money from? Um, and it kind of like rewires your brain in a way that is really interesting. And I'm pretty sure you having to work in your computer's friend, in your, you know, in your friend's computer and having to actually kind of spend your time doing that kind of stuff and finding a way out, same thing. Or when they have to f fight for the visa, right? Like yeah. I'm pretty sure it rewires your brain because you, all of a sudden it's not just about a job, it's about much bigger than a job. All of a sudden sure. it's like this big thing. And I think unless people are doing that from that perspective, that is, this is bigger than anything that I'm gonna do ever, I think, there's some like it doesn't showcase in the work. It's almost like painters and all these artists. They say like you need to just like infuse yourself in it to the point that drives you nuts. Not so much in animation, but uh, but like you need to be passionate about it to the point that this is the most important thing in your life. If you start with that mentality, then I'm pretty sure you can make it in one way or the other. So, so that's the drive. So sometimes we kind of you know miss it, you know. And again. We always like, you know, kind of complaints like I don't have a better job and my job is really bad and I'm not actually getting like, you know, but I think we should also ask like, you know, like you said, like you know, the drive, we got to put that extra foot down and ask like, you know, that extra mile where they're going, what am I doing to change it? You know, yeah. I can do it, uh, you know, I can change my job by showcasing my new skills or learning something new. I'm not growing myself. I always kind of a person review myself, like, you know, yeah. if I'm doing this for like two, three years, I just step back and see like you know am i actually growing from past two years yeah am i getting it. any better yeah no if i'm not then i'm not doing the right thing that's it so i should exactly. i should i should actually take a step back and wait a minute like you know i need to rethink if it goes like this for another 10 years i'm gonna kick my ass in 10 years like you no know, what am i doing with my life you yeah know? we're all gonna be we're gonna be grumpy old men and i don't want to be a grumpy old man i don't want to be a, that guy that says like if i had done this when i was 30 <laughs> I would have been in a better place. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> no, no, very true, very true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so yeah. Yeah, that's something kind of, you know, bothers me every time. Like That's what I always cross check with me, with my life, with my CAW also. Like, you know, why I came here. I want to produce some really good good shots in the, in the workshop and, you know, share my knowledge with those guys and to make sure that they also get a better job. You know, not that's not the main criteria. They can learn something. Byproduct is they get into better jobs, they get into abroad companies and all the stuff VFX very quickly. Yeah. But what the main factor is the quality, right? And trying to showcase that quality in your shot that you haven't done before. And that's what we've been doing, right? The, whatever quietly, silently we have been producing in CAW, 
is what actually a main uh, and again whiskey is again byproduct of caw to be honest yeah exactly. so people are actually approaching me hey you have such a cool team with you and you know your students like you know my students are not just students they are like already like you know animation soups and meets and senior guys from you know uh, yeah. games and the movies sorry dvd movies and uh, tv and stuff right yeah. so they were like oh, you have a great perfect team with you so can we actually uh, work with us for some creative animation and you know, that's how it started slowly slowly and it went really bit of out of control and then i'm like okay all the repeated customers like you're doing fantastic job and why can't you take the entire thing rather just doing only creative animation and rigging I, uh, I take the rigging projects and I take the creation animation project. And they were like, hey, why can't you just do everything? Like, you know, build a set and you know, light it, comp it, run the text, right? And then, you know, de de deliver the entire thing. You, we are as good as our showroom as an artist, right? Yeah. But if you're a company, you're as good as your team plus your pipeline. Without That's pipeline, it. you would be like, you know, go mental and have a new Yeah, for sure. Project. You need a good pipeline. I'm like, you know, we are in the testing phase. Like, how I actually. I did my uh, you know lab rats you know my three students like how i did like three months quietly nobody knows we are online and they were teaching training the same yeah. thing we are doing with this cafe is like trying to uh, build the pipeline uh, coordinate like you know i have really great creature animators uh, animators from my workshop you know uh, they are doing fantastic job but i need to actually build the other team members like modelers lighting guys and renders and composers sure. you know, yeah. finding the passionate people is what really kind of you know i'm kind of like doing like an you know, almost 78 interviews i have done i have chosen only six people so far yeah. so it's like you know one hour talking to them to understand i want to see what drives them as well you know i need to build a better team like you know for sure and i think like you know people make companies yeah make companies 100%. companies doesn't make like maybe after uh like 20 30 years of a company when you join as an intern then yes yeah. You know, you can be intern of such a big company and, you know, I've been really learning something good. But when you see big companies, right, so you are a part of a team, like your senior guys, you do your best animation, somebody do best lighting, somebody do the best models and somebody do best texturing and somebody do best comping. And that shot is going to turn out really be great. For sure. The pipeline, right. So yeah. people make companies, you know, choosing. And again, companies also really very smart choosing these people really nicely. That's yeah. why the company is really, you know, smart and they, they produce a great quality like yeah, I am, yeah. they surround themselves with a the really good people and you know people make these shots really well and company comforts them to uh, you know bring this talent into the bond board and try to put yeah. them together and make it happen right so this kind of uh, so this is what i kind of understand working in long time in ILM. like you know talent uh, of people like really all the talent from other departments who can do this shot better at yeah. the same time, you know, the pipeline, what makes it better. So I'm kind of following the similar stuff, like, you know, before I'm being announced in a big way. Yeah. Um, we want to build the pipeline. We want to build the artist pool and try to put them together. And we're already running some shows, like, you know, the one we just released, uh, you know, Jack Snyder's that one, right? Uh, Zombie That's Tiger. Yeah. And uh, we're actually trying to uh, work with some Netflix pictures with the dinosaurs. Uh, and again, so many dinosaurs stuff coming to us because it just we are good with the dinosaurs and Maya. So we have a dinosaur <laughs> and we have dinosaurs. See, we have dinosaurs. So yeah. it's just that, and uh, we are working on a VR projects, and we are working on talking animals and singing uh, animals in uh, commercials. So basically, uh, these are unofficial. I mean, like you know, it's not really like you know, we have uh, announced the company yet. We will be like probably in August. It's going to yeah. be announcement in UK and India. Uh, India is like supporting uh, team, but it's not supporting team. It's kind of a, both of them are working together. But I got like you know uh, my students there, and I got some other uh, friends who are working from abroad and went back to India. Wanted to like you know lead those teams, like you know, and again we have a team in UK. So we're yeah. trying to build the pipeline over the cloud and the hybrid way of working right now. Not yeah. everybody goes to work. The right, future, right? So, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. The yeah. future, the future. Really how we're gonna work? <laughs> is, we're breaking our heads how to. Uh, do that but again you know being an just an animation guy it's very hard for me to control everything but i'm really enjoying the process i yeah. built a caw it didn't really uh, pay me in the beginning and in the sense like it paid me as a satisfaction wise and i was doing good money wise now i'm actually kind of it actually kind of paying really good that now well. i can develop this more now yeah. we are trying to bring in more mentors into the caw and trying to bring in more rigs to the caw not only caw we are trying to uh, sell the rigs from CAW to yeah. the outside world. Um, right now, I started training some companies, gaming companies in mm -hmm. Europe. Yeah. And uh, I might be uh, training some VFX companies also, only for creator animation That's as well. Right. So, which is paying back in a good time. So, I was like, you know, Switch. I didn't expect this at all. It's yeah. just following the quality and the work, what we are pro producing here. That was the main reason to start with Cafe. And that's the main reason I'm actually training a corporate companies, like you know, big gaming companies and that's VFX it. companies right now. 
which, which is, is awesome. a great thing, you know, strategy yes, those animals, beautiful. You know? Exactly. You know, good work attracts more good work. That's what you're doing and just gathering people around you, which is beautiful. It's really, really exactly. cool. Um, sorry, uh, what, what's the what's the website for the company? Do you have one yet? Uh, we are actually, it's viscafe.com. It's in work, work in progress. It's a V, 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 I, S, V, I, S, K, E, F, I, K, E, F, I, dot com. Dot com. Um, I'm just putting it, putting it on the chat for everybody to actually kind of like go and, uh, and visit. And, so uh, we, we just have probably in another three weeks, we might have all the, all the, we are developing a show reel for the company because we can, I can test my animate, no, not anime. I know my animators, but other yeah. department guys like, you know, modelers and lighters and, you know, so I need to test my team and I wanted to bring the same passion. To the, I, my strong feeling is I wanted to build a better team, like, you know, yeah. you don't want to go to work and like, oh my God, I need to work with this guy. Yeah, exactly. you know, that's <laughs> You know, that's that, that's where, like, you know, I always want to do, like, you know, build a better team where people are really contributing themselves 100%. They would love their job. And by product, great quality. You don't need to ask for the quality. And that's if it, I man. think that if it's suffering quality, any element that suffers the quality, I really want to just step in and bring that thing or the guy out. Like, you know, it's not really helping. Don't do this, you know, because of that, you. Yeah, exactly. other people are going to stress out. So, I, I mean, like, you know, I wanted to make that... Uh, you know the teams what i've seen in ilm and you know mpc or dnec like there's some really good people really good culture right so i want to borrow from them and you know whatever i've been learned and understand so i'm going to create the same thing in uk and in india as well in so india right now well, yeah. um since we are in um, uk lockdown right so we couldn't actually go into physical places and stuff we will be doing it and now the lockdown is lifted and we are talking to the places and you know get some you know good place for the studio to set up and uh, in India, my business partner is in India. Manu, That's perfect. And he's actually setting up a studio in India, in India right now. So he's going to come back probably end of July. Yeah. And by the time we have the website ready, our show reel ready, we, I really don't want to use my ILM stuff for MPC from because that's not going to really like in you know, a nice way to do. We just like, you know, as a team, what we can do. And, you know, we are really trying to build the pipeline for spitting out at least 30 seconds of output, you know, where we can call ourselves like how commercial studio right now to grow yeah. with, you know, and then episodic stuff. We are talking to some episodic stuff as well, you know, with, um, with the uh, dinosaur TV shows and uh, there's other uh, in interesting creature TV shows for the Netflix. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, so this is where uh, we are at with the company right now. But Perfect. Um, definitely like, it's like, you know, wherever the animals are going, creatures are going, we are going. It could be, <laughs> it could be like, you know, uh, episodic, it could be movies, it could be AR, VR. AR, VR is something really big revolution these days. So yeah. it's going to reach to everybody, right? So That's yeah, it. this is where we're kind of looking into it. That's amazing. That's amazing. And, and I have to say, India has so much talented animators, so many talented animators. It's, it's really cool. And like, um, we have uh, we have uh, an Indian animator in our team as well, um, Abby Abby Nauf. He's really talented. <laughs> He's incredibly talented as well. And um, yeah, we keep getting like submissions all the time. And I have to say, like the pool of talent over there is amazing. And I feel yeah. like just like yourself and just like Abby, like I think we need more people, kind of like just like pushing more people out there. Because I mean, there's something to be said about like somebody living in a country that obviously which are very artistic and people want to come to Europe. People want to come to the U S and Canada and just, you just need people like yourself to guide people in order to get them to their dream jobs. Right. And having a better life and having a better future and all that stuff. And I think that's the stuff that you manage to do. So it's a great example. It's a great example. And I think, I hope Oh, thanks. Thanks. I really, really yeah. kind of you saying that. But these yeah. days, like, you know, the people who were struggling like me back then to come to abroad. But the funny yeah. part is now, actually, the business came to you right now. You know, it's happening yeah. in your countries right now. Like, if you see MPC, Frame Store, they all have places all like India, over there, right? other places, you know. So it's a great opportunity. You know, if it doesn't get into Europe or UK, you can get into India or you can get That's into like, you know, other places like where they have. Yeah. So work is everywhere exactly. right now. You know, all we need is like, you know, yeah, get our, story, get our work done, you know, put it on a nice package and you know, in, in, in a Vimeo or a, in a link or, you know, constantly keep updating your social media as well at the same time. Just get a more visibility. That's that's not going to stop you. Like, you know, that's where, Perfect. you know, you'll be Perfect. unstoppable. 
Exactly, exactly. And I, know, I think you are like the perfect champion for, for the example of somebody that actually work hard in order to like just make something. And the fact that you're pushing it so, so, so much that you have like two studios in the future, right? Like two studios here and in India and like you have them connected and all that stuff. Once again, it just gives even more power to people like back home to actually kind of like just be like proud of what they do local right because uh because there is there is such a thing as that that feeling of like the, the grass is always greener right so <laughs> i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure you actually all got the same conclusion as myself that you can actually do, create awesome animation no matter where you are like the location la doesn't have to be the only place that has everything like you know sure, that everyone sure. wants to go right so um yeah it's, it's really cool to actually see people like that yeah I, I, I believe in these small teams, you know, I believe in these small teams, like, because it's sometimes like you might not really, you know, get your saying in a big studio, it's like you, there are so many people actually who gives the creative input, right? Yeah. So when you actually uh, in a small studio, it's like, you know, um, you, your input can be one of the biggest thing, like, you know, That's it. and that is actually, you can see in a big screen, it might not get lost, you know, by, you know, somebody else's comment or somebody That's diluting it. your creativity or, you know, you have a say here. So I'm trying to choose those sort of uh, guys like, you know, who are really uh, wanted to work with a small team so that they can prove, they can project themselves and they can project their ideas in there. They can make it work. You know, there are like yeah. so many people, so people like me wanted to get that sort of a chance, you know, to get That's into it. that sort of a small team. So I'm just trying to build that sort of a team and, you know, they, yeah, they yeah. can do the best job and they won't really like, you know, they're just waiting for the chance for all their lifelong, right? That's it, man. So they exactly. won't fail. So, yeah, know, exactly. They, they would think it's a better opportunity and they would do a great job. And we need a perfect team like that, you know? Yeah, exactly. And and once you have that chance, if it comes at the right time and you actually had struggled for so long, guaranteed that when you get that lane that people tell you, like, now run, I'm pretty sure you're going to, like, be like Usain Bolt, Usain Bolt, just like sprinting on that lane <laughs> to make sure that you do the best you can. Because uh, that's how I feel as well. So I'm pretty sure you feel the same way. Like all of a sudden, like there's no limitations. You can do whatever you want, right? With yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, true, true, it's great. True. Yeah. But I think slowly exploring ourselves is really good. You know, we need to come out of our comfort zone and work for, and some people work for money. At mm. some point it's okay, but you know, and I think for me, that was one of the things like, you know, it's not only the money, right? It's end of the day, uh, like, you know, even in the growth of career also, like, you know, I used to like think like, uh, I need to work with VFX industry. That's the first goal. And then after one year, like, oh, I need to work with MPC. I need to work with DNA. And then, you know, yeah. I need to work with the companies that one year was, I was just jumping around everywhere. And after yeah. that, you know what? I need, um, I need to work with a cool movies right now. Like, you know, I, I should better stay in the same company for longer. They're getting this movie. So I, I wanted to get that movie under my belt. And, you know, so that, you know, you worry about your shorts next year. You will worry about, you know, um, you know, cool movies in the companies. And, you know what, I need to work with this guy. This guy is good or this animation supervisor is good. So, and then you'll be like, you know, you know what, I need my, my money right now. I need to increase my rate, uh, raise my salary. So after three, four years, you'll be like looking after salary. Like whatever it feels good at that point of time, just do it, you know, but not just only the money is the factor. And after four or five years of me, like I'm me uh, running around everywhere, I feel like, you know what, I need really, really good teams. I don't need any more companies. You That's kind it. of fulfill, fulfill your dreams, like, you know, setting up the small goals would definitely can help you, you know, it's just not one big goal, one ILM or one bigger company, MPC, like, you know, no, it's just like setting up a small goals. Like I need really cool shots in, the, yeah. in my showreel and then really good movies and then work with really good people, good companies and the good money automatically has come to you already. You don't need to think about money in this That's journey. That's it, exactly. It's there. And it's you'll be thinking there. like, I need a cool team right now or a cool company. Like, That's the only way of, you know, progressing, yeah. but it's go behind money or, yeah. Yeah, you know what I find funny is that like it's almost like a full circle because if you say to anybody that hasn't started yet about all these things about like these things don't matter, they they would actually try to understand you, but they're not really would understand you until they actually go through the experience. Exactly. You, but you start your career by wanting to be creative, and you that's what you want to do. Like, how can I make my show real the most creative show real ever and showcase my skill? And then you go through all this journey that you mentioned just now, right? You actually go like bigger studios and more people, and and like how can I be a lead? How can I be a supervisor? And then you go back to being create creative again, right? It doesn't matter if it's with a team or by yourself or whatever, but you just need creativity. Um, but you have to go through these motions to get get to see it and yeah, exactly. put in the money. The money, like you can have lots of money, but after a certain range, it really doesn't matter. Like you, it's, it's it's good, it's useful, but yeah, yeah. it doesn't make you any more creative. <laughs> true, very true. Yeah, yeah. 
So yeah, but uh, Daniel, look, it's been an uh, absolute pleasure talking to you. I know we've been talking for about an hour and a half, and I don't want to take all your time. Oh, uh, really? Oh, you hard enough now? Okay. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel that long though. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, like it's been it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me, man. And um, yeah, it's been it's been great. And I wish you all the best with your business, with your new business, and the workshop as well. And um, I hope we can do this some more, some other time in the future. Sure, sure, definitely, definitely. Thanks, Avi. Thanks for having me, and you know, thanks for this call. Actually, it was really nice to speak to you and all our guys as well here. You know, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I really admire your stuff as well. You know, just keep doing like whatever you're inspiring people, Thank you know, you, putting man. your content out there, and actually, kind of, you know, it's if, if it didn't for one guy to become a better animator, you know, we are successful. You know, that's with exactly what you're doing right now. You know, that's something is really like that's you know drives right. So, but yeah, you know, awesome man. Like I. If I had a channel, YouTube channel, you know, sort of a driving me back then, yeah. like you, what you're doing right now, yeah. I would have been like, you know, somewhere back then, you know, I wouldn't have taken this long route. I hope so. so. Actually I helping, hope so, yeah. uh, People career and, you know, uh, trying to, it's not shortcut. It's kind of, you know, a giving an efficient way of reaching where you want to be. That's it. Exactly. Because this that's what you're doing in school as well, right? Like in your workshop, like you just, you made mistakes, you saw some things and you experienced some things and you, you were kind of telling people, don't do these things or do these things and and uh, and hopefully this will serve you well because uh Thanks. when we started like when we were dropped in eurocom like i kind of wish that people had told me some of the stuff that i say in my channel because uh <laughs> it was a massive surprise so most of it is like wow this is i didn't expect this and this and this and you feel overwhelmed so fingers crossed like this so this stuff like your workshop is helping some people out there you know making people make making people yeah, a bit yeah. better you know Growing, growing together, sharing and growing together is what I strongly believe. And, you know, I really wanted to, uh, the, you are also part of the great concept, like, you know, building the better community. Yeah, exactly. 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 You know, community, community, something really strong uh, element, but I really support, yeah. you know, I really be believe in that. And yeah. I really believe that, you know, you are taking it into next level with your, you know, sharing of knowledge. You know, <laughs> everybody right. does this, we have a better community, man. That's what I'm Yeah, I mean, yeah. animation is hard as nails, man. Like you just said it with your story, how you actually got here. Animation is hard as nails. It's so hard to actually get to be an animator. And then when you start being an animator, you realize that it's hard to be a good animator. And then, and, and you have to actually kind of like really work hard for years to actually get there. So if you can make the job a little bit easier to anybody out there, then it's great. We're doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> no, makes sense, makes sense. You know, we have to at least, yeah. 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 So, so yeah, Daniel, like uh, say hello to the family for me, man. And uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah, I hope to speak to you very soon. And uh, thanks for taking the time, man. Thanks, Lord. Thanks for having me. Awesome. No problem. And uh, thanks Wait, to you, all sorry, of you I guys in the chat. Get to read any comments. Sorry, guys. Like we were just talking. But... Yeah, we we're just talking. We didn't. We didn't have time. But uh, but ne <laughs> next time we definitely need to do this again because uh, it was really interesting. We should do this next time. Probably a proper Q and oh, there's a guy asking. I wish I come on, man. You don't have any questions. Come on. You're from the <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, sorry, guys. Probably we should actually do another session where we can actually prop take a proper. Drink. Let's do that. Let, let's make that sp VFX specific, maybe. Uh, but yeah, yeah definitely. We'll, we'll yeah, talk more about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm up for it. Yeah, thanks, guys. Awesome. Thanks Harry, for giving this chance, man. You know, nice no problem. No problem, Daniel. See you, See you yeah. man. Bye, bye. Bye, guys. Bye to all.